Hello and welcome back to Seven Mill Sidings and Bench Road. Uh, going to have another little running session today and also um, I'm going to tone down the grass a little bit on the uh, sidings just behind me here and I haven't done the Bench Road ones yet because we've got to add some more grass there later on but um, we'll run some trains to start with and then we'll have a look at the grass and then run some more trains probably. Right, see you in a shortly. Cheers now. Seven mills, and uh, we've got a 33 coming through. And it's Dutch livery. Thirty-three oh four six, which is Merlin. And a short rake of turbots on the back. just come up on the embankment because the 08's uh, blue 08's just taking some wagons back into the other yard Right, as I said at the intro, um, I'm going to tone down this grass a little bit. Now, as you can see, it looks a little bit, um, a little bit bright to camera on places. And uh, what I want to do is just tone that down a little bit. Um, the the colour I'm aiming for really is more of this sort of yellowy, uh, bleached colour. So what I've done, I've taken some green. Um, which was originally XF, I think that's XF5 maybe, good job to see it, yeah it looks like an XF5 which was a dark green, um, that was the lid colour of it, and I've added some um, RC424 acrylic paint um, to that, and I've ended up with a yellowy green colour but I'm going to put through the airbrush and just blow over a few places now and just see if we can just tone that down a little bit give it more of a bleach effect so I'm just going to use my standard airbrush um, I've put some paint in the cup and we're ready to go I won't show you all of it because otherwise it's going to be as boring as heck but uh, we'll show a start and see where we are from there The, the colour is actually coming a bit lighter and again it won't be done all over it will be done in patches so that um, it takes away some of the green but it also can do it on the bushes as well and uh, it'll just give a little bit of uh, different colour to some of the areas so so that's now done um, with the lighter colours I've gone all over uh, you can see in a few places there where there's a slightly lighter effects and uh, now I'm going to go over with a darker colour just to uh, bring it down a little bit more. The next mixture I'll put into my pot now is my dirty mixture. Um, that's basically where I put all the dregs when I'm doing weathering etc and I finish with um, the spraying I empty my uh, airbrush pot into here and it just gets a mixture of browns, greys, blacks 
sandy colours, whatever. So that's now in the cup, ready for uh, the next little blast. Once again, it won't be all over, it'll just be in a few areas. And um, you can see there, we've now got a little dirty areas coming, and they'll just uh, they'll highlight the lighter areas really, and just uh, a little bit between the tracks where wagons have uh, stood, and maybe the old loco or two has uh, stood. Need and do it where there's no grass, just to give a bit of a, a streak down the middle. I don't want to go overboard, I don't want it too dirty. Um, this is mainly a wagon sidings, so um, again, we can just do it so that uh, it just gives a bit of an effect and uh, tones down the grasses a little bit. And that will be around about it. I won't do much more on there. Um, just going along the edges here at the moment. Um, that's about it really. I'm not going to overdo it. Um, as I say, I don't want it dirty oily, but just a little bit stained. And that'll be about right. There we go, let's turn the compressor off so you can hear that's better right. So yeah, just a few little stains between the tracks um, and over some of the grasses as well. So that uh, it gives the impression of where maybe locos have dropped a bit of oil or um, the, uh, the guys have been walking maybe with dirty oily boots and when they've been coupling and uncoupling etc. But that I think will do. I would say I don't want to go mad, I don't want it overly dark, I don't want it overly ruined because it is mainly um, wagon sidings anyway so we'll leave that at that for today also today I'm giving this fascia a, a coat of paint uh, to get rid of the bare wood so that's another little job so there we go and as if by magic that's that job done and uh, I'll take the tape off when, um, when it's dried a bit more and that has tidied up the the front edge of the baseboard and in the meantime um, 33 is just uncoupled and uh, that's moving off the uh, wagons hopefully that should come back in a second and run around And the 08 down the yard is coming out as well.
got a 47 coming through and uh, Forty-seven one nine nine. A couple of points on there. That's gone down the goods relief road. out of the centre road now Come back through. Sounds like something's coming through from door end. Got another thirty three. Just one oil tank on the back. Right, there we go. Um, hope toning down the grass was helpful to you and those sort of things. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do on the next one. But thanks again for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this one. Cheers now. Bye. <laughs>